hello guys today in this video i'm going to show you how async actions work and how you can create those and so if you follow this video accordingly you can understand how these async tasks are going to work and uh, for that uh, i am just going to create a async action like which will be like our unreal engine delay functionality so you can understand how these things works accordingly so let's get started for that i'm just going to add a unreal engine class and it will be a blueprint blueprint action something yeah blueprint async action this thing it will be uh, public and i will just create it i forgot to change the class name so let's uh, let it be and i directly created the unreal engine class from my rider i am using jet prince rider if you're using any other ide just create this uh, this class directly from your unreal engine so in this i am going to create a delegate first I will name it uh, F1 F1 delay finished and it will return us just a F string it will be a sample F string just for showing you how you can take output from this thing and I will just name it sample now inside my class I will create a public section inside my public section i will create a static function because i want to call it from anywhere in my blueprints and it will return you my class pointer and for that i will just call a, this function a, a type of delay and inside this i will uh, give it an input of a u object it will be very text object and after that I will take an input of a float and it will be the delay I want I will add a u function on this and inside the u function it and it will be a blueprint callable and I will add a meta also on this and inside the meta it will be blueprint internal use only I will make it true and for assigning the world context there is a macro you can directly call the world context it will automatically take whenever you call this uh, blueprint node in the blueprints and I will just assign it to the world context object Now this function is ready and after that I will just make my dispatcher also and I will give it a U property and it will be blueprint assignable. Now this is ready. I will create a function also. I will call it start the delay or something. I will just call it this now I will create a private section inside my private section I will create the U object world context object and after that I will create the member very these are the member variables so I will just add underscore M in front of these and after that I will create a member variable for my delay also now I will create the functionality of this so I will create a local variable of your my class and I will create a new object only it will be your my class only and after creating the object I will initialize my member variables
and after this I will just return return this my class and we have successfully initialized our things now I will we have to override a virtual function also it will get called like whenever we call this node in blueprint so here I will just create a uh, we first we have to get a get our world so we can create the delay I will just create a U world pointer it will be a local one and for this uh, there is a function get world conf object I will pass the world context object inside this and after that I will create a local variable for the f timer handle now I will take my world from this I will get timer manager from this I will take uh, set timer and this requires the timer handle so we will pass our timer handle after this we will pass say, this class so we will just pass this inside this and after that it is going to need a reference of the function we want to call and for that we will just call this thing I will pass this function here and after that we will need to pass the delay we want I will pass the delay and that's it after that n amount of delay it will call this function and inside this we will just go um, broadcast our delegate and inside this we will just pass a sample left string like uh, hello how are you guys I will pass this and now our async function is ready now let's run this thing and test it now after opening your Unreal Engine and compiling the stuff you can open your level blueprint I am just going to open my level blueprint call my event begin play and from this I will call my a type of delay and inside this I will add a delay of 2 seconds and after that it should call this for that I will just call print string and add this here and now let's play it let's see if it's working or not after two seconds yeah it's printing the string let's add a big point also and see if it's calling after yeah one two and it's calling now it's working you can see so as you can see this is how you can create your racing functionality now one more thing yeah, and you can add multiple delegates inside this thing so I will just create like another one here like this on it I will just call on delay finish one here and so whenever this things like I will create another delay also another this thing and here and uh, I will create two delay things and it will be delay one and it will be delay two and inside this we will take two delays so I can show you you can call two kind of delegates at different times so for doing some kind of functionality it will be delay 1, it will be delay 2 and ok, so I will create one more function it is just for demonstration purpose to understand how these things works and inside this I will execute this thing and we will, this time we will give it a proper name delay 1 and it will be delay 2 
this time now let's run this thing now we can see it will go to different delegates at two different times and accordingly like you can add your kind of your own functionality like for for the first time you want to do some kind of functionality just add your functionality before broadcasting this delegate and do that functionality after that broadcast and uh, maybe you are calculating something and pass the data from this delegate and on the second time do some kind of functionality and pass that data similarly you can do a number of things from this thing so i will just open my level blueprint here and inside i will refresh this node because it got crazy and in here i will add yeah, this thing again and for the delay one i will add two seconds and for the delay two i will add four seconds Firstly, first it will, I will add the breakpoint also inside this thing. So I will just play it now for testing it. And after 4 seconds directly, it just called delay 2, it didn't call delay 1. I think we made a mistake or something, so now let's go and test check that thing and first mistake i am seeing i am just using the same timer handle for both of those so i will just create one more timer handle and pass this timer handle inside this thing and inside this uh, delegates also i am just passing one single delegate in both of those so in the second one i will just pass on finish delegate the one which we newly created I think it will per work perfectly now, so I will just run it again and test it. So now our Unreal Engine is open, so I will just open my level blueprint. Breakpoints are already added, I will just play it now. And you can see for after 2 seconds it will call this and we go delay 1 as we broadcasted in this. And if we continue after 2 more seconds we should get this one and this time it's passing delay 2. And it's calling this thing. I hope you understood how our, how this asynchronous function is working. And if you have any kind of doubts, just drop those doubts in the comment section. You can join my Discord channel where we can chat about these kind of things. And if you need any other kind of these kind of functionality, you want to understand tutorial on these kind of things, you can just ping me on Discord or put your comment on the YouTube comment section. And uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, bye bye.